Did you witness any of these deportations? Oh, yes. What would take place? Describe yes. it for me. Well, people had to be, were collected in a certain place the evening before, and uh, then they were fed with some kind of food, I don't know, whatever it was, and then they were hauled into, like, trucks, and the trucks would bring them uh, to the station. And the station was a cattle station. They were not allowed on the station when all the trains were going. So, no, no, no. Uh, we would go there and help them out and get them food and, I don't know, try to make them comfortable. And, you know, you, you try very hard. You, your heart is breaking, but you cannot show it. When were you and your mother uh, actually deported? July 42, maybe the 2nd, 3rd, 4th, around that time, before the 10th. Who went with you? My mother, her husband, Dr. Rudolfi, um, my grandparents, um, a sister of my grandfather, her daughter, that's all I remember right now. So d describe uh, what happened to you. H how, mu how much advance notice were you given that you were going to be leaving? 24 hours. Or 36 hours. What were you allowed to take? What you can carry. Or two suitcases. And that was all. Was there anything special you remember packing? Or? No. No, I don't. All I remember is that it must have been 36 hours because my mother married Dr. Rudolfi, so that took a few hours. And, uh, but I don't know what was packed and who packed what. I have no idea. What was, what was the mood of you and, and your family at this time? How, what, what did you know about what was going to happen? How did you feel? Utter distress. Gloom. Though we were told we were go going to Theresien and not to Auschwitz, but in my mind I was not so sure whether it was true. So we heard that Theresien would be better than Auschwitz. But uh, gloom, being afraid, um, all sorts of things. Like, you see there is a dark pit and you have... You're, you're, you're getting to it, and there is no way away from it. Describe the rest of that 36-hour period leading up to... Nothing. We, we got home, we got our suitcases, and we had to go and uh, have to, had to go to do this particular um, station where the train were waiting. Describe the train. It was a normal train at the time. Um, with compartments. It was not a cattle train like later, but it was a normal train. How long was the trip to Theresienstadt? I think it was a day and a night and a day. We left somehow in the evening and the next day, and the next day we got there. Not to Dresden, to Bauschwitz. I think we went to Bauschwitz. Because mm -hmm. Dresden didn't have a station, doesn't have a station. Mm -hmm. So you went first to Auschwitz? No, Bauschwitz. Oh, Bauschwitz, okay. Yeah, Bauschwitz. Okay. Bauschwitz is um, a station. Right. Dresden doesn't have a station. And from there, how did you get to Dresden? I think we walked endlessly. It may have been Budovitz. No, it was an endless long, long walk until we finally got there. Exhausting.